State Eagles once again had a successful basketball season under head coach Randy Kim. Once again for a second consecutive year, the Lady Eagles made it to the third round of the playoffs, unfortunately though coming short of their team goals. I sat down with Coach Kim and this is what he had to say. It was a good season. Um, we didn't meet all of the goals that we set forth for ourselves, but um, it was good. And probably our last, I mean, our last three games were the best games of the year, and where they really kind of came together and played their best basketball. Coach, those three games came in the playoffs, and prior to that, you guys had a two-game losing streak to end the regular season. How did you get your girls to go on a three-game winning streak when it counted the most? I really think all of the games, all of the losses, and some of them probably could be labeled bad losses, were kind of uh, lessons. There were lessons for our team. Um, and maybe, you know, just the way things work out, maybe if we don't lose that game or don't lose this game, we don't get a chance to win a game like that Nipomo game or the, a game like that Covina game. They, they, really were lessons. They, they taught us what we needed to do. I wish they had come earlier or I could have gotten it through to them earlier in, through practice, but sometimes experience is the best teacher. And I really thought those losses were, were lessons for us. Coach, speaking of experience, your girls are getting good experience here. Two years as the varsity head coach, two playoff appearances, both making it to the third round. Now that third round game against Duarte, you guys only lost by two points against a very, very tough team. What happened in that game? It was a battle. Um, it was a great game. It wasn't necessarily a well-played basketball game, but it was just a great fight. It, it, was a, it was back and forth. I don't know if you read some about the game, but I think there were something like eight ties and seven lead changes. At every quarter, the score was tied. I think the highest, the biggest lead was four points in the whole game. So it's just one of those games where really no one was willing, either team was, neither team was willing to give an inch. It was just a battle. And it came down to like one play near the end and one missed shot or one miss, mishap near the end that was the difference. Now switching gears a little bit here, looking to next year, Coach, you're losing 16 years from your squad you have no juniors on this past varsity team, so that means everybody that's coming up next year, you won't have a senior that has that varsity experience. How do you get those young underclassmen to perform at that varsity level? That's a good question. <laughs> that's a good question. But um, I'm really looking forward to seeing you know, what this team can become. Um, they were great. The kids that we had last year, the underclassmen, they were great in practice this year. They really helped our team every day in practice. And I, I believe they're gonna be ready. Um, they'll be young, but I think they're gonna be ready. And I'm just looking forward to it. The, the process is the thing that I really enjoy. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting back into the gym. I saw some of them today just around campus and I told them, uh, after spring break, you know, we get back into the gym. So I'm looking forward to it. I think they'll be ready. Paige Endo has been a big component to the El Segundo Lady Eagles playoff run the past two consecutive years. I sat down with Paige to recap her final season wearing an Eagles uniform. So season's done, how are your feelings on this past basketball season? Oh, it was a great run and like, it was just really fun to get a last, last year with girls that I've been playing with for like about, well some for, from kindergarten, some from freshman year, middle school. So yeah, it was a great season. And it had to be bittersweet for you, the ending of the season. Your main goal in the beginning of the year was to get that banner for the first league championship. And you guys were close this year. How disappointing was it to come a little bit short once again in the playoffs? It was disappointing, but I was still happy with what we accomplished and like how great of a season it was, considering like we were the underdogs and like we weren't expected to go far in CIS. But we went pretty far and we had a good run, so we made it fun. 
you guys did every time I saw you guys, you had great team camaraderie and you guys seemed like you had fun at practice. In a third round playoff appearance this year, for a second consecutive year, you were a big reason along with Quinn Adams. How much did that senior leadership help this team get to the third round of the playoffs? It helped us a lot actually, like the freshmen and underclassmen, like they looked up to us a lot and it's funny because Quinn would send out like a quote every day, like before game, and she would like just like inspire all of us and we had a group chat and it was really inspirational and so it helped us come together for like big games and stuff. What was your fondest memory of this past season? Ooh, definitely beating Culver and beating Covina in playoffs too, yeah. Beating Culver to snap their 41 game winning streak I think. It's a big accomplishment. Culver City ended up winning the Ocean League Championship yeah. this past year, but you guys hung in there, uh, ended up third in the Ocean League. Uh, now, this team is losing a lot of seniors. Next year, there won't be any seniors with the varsity experience on this team. What do you have to say for those underclassmen to keep this winning streak alive here at El Segundo? I'm just going to tell them to like stay focused, stay um, determined to win, stay humble, stay like ready to play. and. Just like stay together as a team is important, most importantly, so yeah. And what's the future for Prezendo? Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to play yet, but it's I play, definitely go to college, play or not. Just pursue my career in the medical field. Paige, thank you again for joining us. It's been a pleasure watching you the last few years and good luck with everything you do. Thank you. Sports are unpredictable. Sometimes we achieve more than people thought we could and sometimes we fall short of our team goals. The offseason is a place meant for teams that didn't win at all to step back, regroup, and try again next year. The El Segundo Lady Eagles will have a huge upcoming offseason after losing six seniors this past year. Coach Randy Kim will try to take a group of underclassmen into a third straight playoff appearance. It's going to be an exciting year next year for El Segundo basketball and I myself can't wait to see it. Until then, I'm Miguel Delio for El Segundo TV.